Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Phoenix 8 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can pair your watch, rather not pair, set up your watch without pairing, your, uh, pairing it with a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the uh, settings. Okay, so let's continue. And first thing we need to do is to turn on our watch. And you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. Keep holding the button until you see the Garmin logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, after it turns on, you will see the uh, list of languages. And you can scroll through it by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you find it, tap on it to select it. After you select the language, you will be asked if you want to pair your watch with a phone. We want to do it, so you can tap on this check mark right here or press the start button to confirm. And now you should see the QR code on the screen, which means that the watch entered the uh, pairing mode and you can use this uh, QR code to download and install the Garmin Connect application. Basically you point the phone's camera on the uh, QR code and it's gonna direct you to the download link. I'm just gonna use the App Store uh, on our iPhone to do it, uh, but you can use the QR code if you want to. And if you want to download the app you need to have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone and once you do, download the app. I'm gonna open the App Store, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in a Garmin Connect. And on the list of apps you should see this app. You can tap on it and then tap on the Get button uh, to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. Once the application opens, you will see this page. And you might also see the pop-up about the Bluetooth permission. If you see the pop-up about the Bluetooth permission, tap on allow to allow it. It is required. And next we have the this page, basically login page. And if you don't have an account to log in, you can tap on create account to make a new one and then you can use it to log in. And if you have an account, tap on sign in to log in into an account. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, uh, check the box right here and tap next. And on this page, we need to enter the uh, credentials for our account, so email address and pa password. So give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and then we can tap on next to log in, of course. <clears throat> After you log in and you don't have any other devices uh, connected with your account, the app should start searching for the nearby devices automatically and it should detect your watch. Also, you may see the pop-up about the notification permission. If you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you will need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm gonna allow it. And once you're done with the permissions and you see this page, tap on connected. If you don't see this page, and for example, you already have added uh, connected devices to your account, you will need to go to Garmin devices. So basically many icon devices and tap on add device and then this page will appear. But by, uh, but if it's your first time using the uh, account or you don't have any de other devices connected, it will do it automatically and it will detect your watch. Once it does, tap on connect it. Here tap on pair. 
allow ordin id permission for the notifications tap on next and right here we can set up the uh, sleeping schedule this is useful if you want to sleep with your watch uh, on when you're uh, basically sleeping so if you're uh, gonna have it on your wrist while you're sleeping and this will allow you to set up a schedule for the do not disturb mode basically so it will turn on the do not disturb mode during sleep and turn it off when you wake up and it will basically prevent you from being uh, disturbed during the night and you can tap on edit to edit the schedules and you can tap on the bedtime to adjust the bedtime the wake time and select or un check or uncheck the days basically and once you're done you can tap on done it will be saved and then you can tap on next and here we can select the preferred wrist and tap next next we have the location permission this is useful if you want to uh, use the features like local weather or maybe you want to track your routes on the map so let's say you want to you you want you go for a run and you want to see uh, your route where you where did you go basically on the map so if you want to allow the location permission you can also skip it to keep it disabled um, next we have the calendar access this is useful if you want to see the notifications about the events on your calendar and stuff like that if you don't care you can tap on skip if you want to allow it tap on uh, allow and then allow full access then tap next sync now and finish and here you should see the tutorial basically and we can go through it by tapping on next but i'm gonna just skip it by tapping on skip and now we can add a wi-fi network to our watch so basically you will be able to connect your watch to wi-fi network and this is useful if you want to i don't know download some applications updates and stuff like that if you don't care you can tap on setup wi-fi later if you want to connect your watch to the wi-fi tap on add network select the network you want to use enter the password if it's password protected and once you enter the password and tap next it will connect to the network then you can tap next finish and now you should see the home page of the app and on the home page you should see this icon in the top right corner your watch icon or if you tap on more uh, garment devices you should see your watch right here on the list and on your watch you can also uh, basically adjust the text size so the font and then press the uh, start button here you can select the favorite activities so let's say you want to quickly start some activities on your watch you can add them to favorites and it's gonna make it quicker and to do it press the uh, start button to continue you can also skip this by pressing this button right here to skip it but if you want to add them it will bring you to to here to select activities check them or uncheck them by tapping on the activity and then tap on done and now you should see the watch face which means that the devices are paired together and that's how you pair this watch through the setup process now i'm gonna unpair it and we're gonna do it through the settings okay so to pair the watch through the settings we need to first um, enter the pairing mode of course and to do it we need to press and hold the menu button to open the menu then we need to scroll through the menu find the option called the uh, watch settings and tap on it here we need to find the uh, option called connectivity and tap on it and then select phone option and here scroll down and find the option called per phone and tap on it and you will enter the pairing mode you can tell by the qr code and now if you don't have the garmin connect application you can download it install it and then log in and basically do the same stuff as we did before but i already have the app so i'm gonna tap on it to open it and uh, in the app 
if you have already logged in into an app, you will see this homepage and here you can tap on this plus button or tap on more uh, Garmin devices and add device and it will open this pairing page. It will detect your watch. You can tap on connect it. Tap on pair. Allow the 90 permission for the notifications. Tap on next. Edit the sleeping schedules if you want to, then tap on next. Select the preferred wrist, tap on next. Sync now. If you have to delete with the permissions, then tap on finish. Go through the uh, tutorial. Add or not the Wi-Fi network. And finish. And at this point, you should see your watch right here at the, in the top right corner or on the Garmin devices. Uh, list. Okay, so that's how you pair this watch with the uh, iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.